Yo, welcome Frony. So in stream lately, I got asked multiple times, why should I join a guild? What's the benefit of joining a guild? I would rather want to play solo. Um, I don't want to interact with people or whatever. And actually bad news, if you want to play solo, you will miss out on so much value and content. And I'm going to share with you now what you're missing. And then also in the end, one option on how to get some of this without being like actually active in a guild. <laughs> So the first thing you can do to your guild is actually donating and donating here is not something that is not giving you any value. You are giving the guild value and the system returns you with value instead. So if you're donating, you will get guild coins right here. And then at the guild merchant, you will then be able to purchase certain goods every day. So for example, mana region potion, HP, um, Polish crystals, really important for trading. And one, like I would say one of the most valuable sources is trade conversion stones and trade unlock stones. And here you can get 100 pieces a week and a purple weapon to one trade conversion is 100 pieces. So if you do not get those in the week with your guild farmed, every purple weapon that you will drop with a bad trade is worthless and you cannot even have the chance to make it to turn it into value. A guild will also give you passive buffs. So that means the higher the level of the guild is, you will get a lot of different buffs. So here like mana region, defense, bonus, and that will increase all the way up to level 30 where it actually starts to give like good buffs, like heavy attack chance, heavy attack evasion, like those are really powerful. Sorry to interrupt, but short self-promotion is needed. Currently, 91.2% of the people watching the videos are not subscribed to the channel. So let's make a deal. If you learn something new in this video, you have to subscribe. Besides the passive skills, there's also active skills that the guild leaders can actually activate. Those also give you like certain buffs are sometimes extremely valuable for PvP or just for grinding. So let's say, for example, the guild leader is saying that you know, we are going to do um, open world dungeons, then he will pop the soul in for everyone to benefit on and keep that running. Like all of this is, um, it's just great extra on top value. Another reason why you want to be in a guild are guild rates. If if you are in your um, guild base right here, you will go to that portal and you can see the guild rates and um, those are exclusive. You will recognize the name. Those are world bosses that can then be killed exclusively by your guild. And basically the rewards are then not shared between the whole server like it is if you're doing it a regular world boss. Your guild will basically get a guaranteed world boss loot right there. And we all know some of the best weapons are from those world bosses. Another thing that's extremely important um, especially for the PvP players, is the ability to participate in Woundstone and Riftstone battles. Those are the guild versus guild content in Throne and Liberty. It is also inter-server, so the perfect place to showcase your strength in PvP. So another thing where guilds are extremely important is by trying to get the highest and best weapons in the game. Those are called Archboss weapons. And you can see here, for example, Quindle Belnir Brospo is the most expensive Archboss weapon at the moment and it is only dropped by that boss in the global version we do not have a crafting option currently that means if your guild can control the pvp bosses your chance of obtaining those weapons are really really high compared to people that can only participate in a pc event and will then get um, like only one chance basically while still competing with all the other people that can only participate in a pc event as well if you really want an arch boss weapon you need to play pvp and you need to be in a guild so i'm currently sitting here at a big chest right out of vienta village and this chest right here are the taxes that you're paying in the auction house so if you're going to the auction house you will see here the two percent of the taxes paid in the auction house will go into that chest in every two weeks when castle siege is happening one guild will defend the castle the rest of the server will try to capture that castle and the winning guild will then get a whole lot of loose and Solent. And then they have to basically get that stuff that they farmed into safety with the tax delivery. And obviously you can only participate there if you are in a guild and your guild is in a decent alliance. So if you want to farm that content, you want to have the chance for lots of free Lucent and free Solent, a guild is required. And now the last thing why guilds are really nice is actually the guild contracts. You will find them here and then you will be able to contribute to the guild um, contract 
by killing monsters or doing other stuff that the quests are asking. And this will always give you the guild currency. It will give you soul land. And depending on the percentage that you are putting in as an effort, you will have a chance to get an additional mystic key to open the mystic globes, which will get you more upgrade materials. And now one bonus tip. If you do not want to be active in a guild, nah, at least use the join function, join a random guild that has joined now open, is not doing requirements, requests or whatever. So you can at least do the guild merchant and get all of those things daily values out with your donations, doing some contracts, sometimes contracts align with other things that you're doing. So it's not even like you have to do anything extra. It's just what you're doing gets more value. Yeah, I hope this helped to maybe also get some of the solo players into guild content. Yeah, guys, this was a wraparound about guilds. If you still have any questions, just let me know in the comments. I will try to answer everything in less than 24 hours. Cheers, guys.